Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hutsti, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where last time we set up this uh, facility that uh, we are using to get a bit of water, but also uh, functions as a path wrench. Uh, we need to pr the polluted water to produce the polluted oxygen so the puffs can thrive. And on the side we also did the uh, cooling setup. We got another um, dust cap form for a bit of, uh, of mushroom and with the cooling we managed to get the, the temperatures here in our base to manageable levels so that we have now a stable food situation. So what will be the next ranch that we plan will be for these guys. Uh, those are not that difficult to, to ranch. Uh, so probably that's not uh, the major part of uh, today's episode. Um, the, the, the focus will probably be uh, to uh, extend uh, our part here at the top to top side uh, so we can then wor start working on the rocket um, because eventually we will will need to go to to outer space uh, there as well uh, that means we probably will have another atmosphere dock somewhere up here and we will need this last gas pump to provide the oxygen for that um, the water that we get from down there we are pumping into this system uh, so we uh, have water for oxygen production but also through this set up here on the side uh, which cools the, the whole thing down from over 30 degrees to around uh, on the 10 degrees which is a nice temperatures uh, to put into our farm. So I think before working on the, uh, the poke shell farm, I will do a bit of work towards uh, making a way up to the surface. Uh, we will need quite a bit of, of steel to, to, to deal with uh, a surface situation there. But uh, we should be in a good enough position to manage all of that. In the meantime, I have uh, located the spot where we can put this farm. I think it will fit nice in this corner. And if we look up the needs for the uh, poke shells, uh, we can see they eat polluted dirt. Uh, rotten piles or some of them will also eat slime and their comfort range is, is 0 to 30 degrees. Looking at this we are a bit over 30 degrees so probably we should get the, uh, the cooling line over to this side uh, so we can have a bit of cooling there and then plan out uh, a nice ranch for the poke shells um, where we can feed them polluted dirt and rotten piles uh, which basically means uh, we will no longer need these composts here uh, to deal with the uh, polluted dirt. But first things first we need to have a bit of a, a bit of um, loop going on here. 
and uh, with that, then we can dig this out. And there we probably need a ladder up there. And um, for for the layout, we will need to see how how we manage. Um, we can have it even this big, but I think we will need we will have a few shelves and so on um, in the uh, in the in the ranch inside, so the poke shelves can jump around. But we will get to that once uh, uh, we have uh, this area dug out and the cooling set up put in. So for the cooling set up, um, we will go here and here. We will have a bridge like that. And then we probably need a bit of a ladder action there. And then we will figure out things here on, on this side. Here on top, the suit dock is ready and uh, we are almost here out in the open. And I think this is a nice low spot where we can actually place our rocket because for the rocket we want to have uh, a location where the uh, apsilite dips down quite low so we can have a rocket that is quite high uh, because uh, the higher the rocket, the more modules we can fit onto it. Um, but with that, I think... I mean, down here we will need a door for sure. Um, we'll make it like this. And then... We probably need a bit of a floor on the side. We will have a ladder going up and then we will need a rocket. Um, And we probably then also need for the cockpit oh, let's try this out but uh, if we put the cockpit on there we need yeah We need to move that over by one, so we have the, the space to uh, to have the ramp there, which means this is our floor. And then there goes the wall up, there goes the wall up, a bit crooked. Oh, very crooked. And here on this side, we probably also want to have a door. And a ladder here on the outside so we can build up the wall there as well. And then this first rocket that's always a bit tricky situation because here we need steam and steam is a bit tricky to to get here but we will see 
how we how we deal with that but let me first finish up this setup here and then we can have another look and maybe also have some progress on top in the meantime this farming area down here is cool enough we are under 30 degrees so that should be good for our coke shell so let's catch him and uh, deliver him uh, to here so we can start properly farming and with that we should also uh, we will deconstruct two two composts and the last one we will disable uh, not sure if we will need it but that should then result in uh, polluted dirt being delivered to here and up on top there has also been some progress the rocket is growing with a full tank of steam for the uh, nearest asteroids we can put on nine research modules uh, than the cockpit and we can reach that but of course first we need to have uh, the uh, target spotted that's why we have uh, a telescope plant here we need some bunker doors on top we also need uh, space scanners uh, so we can regulate the opening and closing of the doors and then here on this side we have some power here on this side inside this wall we have some more power uh, up here we also have uh, a gas line for the oxygen that we will need here in the uh, observatorium here this is our setup uh, for uh, producing steam and we will do that uh, in a in a in a two-way fashion we have uh, the liquid tepidizer which will heat up water that we put in here but we will also put in uh, hot regolite in here that should also help uh, heating all this up and then we pump the steam out we have a filter here because we only want to go steam into the engine and here on this side we will get salt water from here and probably at a later date we will reuse that to actually produce oxygen and hydrogen up here um, that we will then use we will also need a bit of uh, cooling setup and here on this side we have um, polluted water uh, vent so we can use that for cooling here on top not sure yet where exactly i will uh, place the uh, cooling setup it will be similar to to this one maybe not quite as large and then here i have tried to uh, get uh, a bit more uh, space um, so we can drop the polluted water down to here and then maybe in here have another setup for natural gas uh, generators uh, because by the looks of it we have quite a bit of, of natural gas but we are struggling with uh, with the petroleum um, mainly because petroleum needs duplicates to uh, operate here but I think we managed our our ranch for today and hopefully until next time we can make a bit more progress here 
on top um, so that uh, we can progress with the game along as with the ranches for the different animals. But that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, tune in next time for more oxygen not included. See you then. Bye.